All right, in today's video, we're gonna make a basic task and project revision system using Notion automation. And what that looks like is just two simple databases and then a button, I'm not doing anything too special here. The biggest thing we'll be changing are the sub items. So I'm gonna just turn those on and that's gonna allow us to create a parent and sub item system. We're gonna create another. And we're just gonna create a simple set properties to illustrate what the revision might look like. We're going to assign someone as well with projects and tasks. Now that we've done that, we're going to create our system for optimizing this process. We have to use buttons and we want to create a new project. Create up to three tasks. We're going to make a status as not started. Now let's also open the page. We do create it. And then we're going to also want to add some tasks, but we might not always need that. So do you want to add a task under this project? Yes. And then cancel. So once they click on yes, we're going to actually add another page, but we're going to add it so that the parent item is that project that we created. Let's make this full page so you can take advantage of the full view. Let's do it two more times so we can add up to three of these tasks. So now we'll have confirmation every time we want to create a new task. Yes, good task created. So now let's see what happens here. New project entry gets created. Do you want to add a task under this project? Yes. Let's do it twice. Let's do cancel for the third time. So now we have two tasks under this project entry. Notice how easy it was to create that using this button. Now let's create a revision system that lets us know when a project or task is complete. And when that is complete, we can get a notification saying it's time to revise to illustrate how this all works. Do that. The way we're gonna set up this revision system is when status is marked as done. Maybe we want to actually also do, or we can even create, and this is all to illustrate how powerful this automation can. We're going to start by going to the project task database that we set up, create a new automation. We're going to add a trigger so that when status is ready for review, revision, or done, we are going to add a new page to this revisions database that we created. What we're also going to do is add a relationship back to this page that was marked complete, ready for review. We're done. And we're going to add that relationship. And then what we can also do is tag a person so you're notified when this revision needs to happen. And we can also add in to the notes. Once we've set that up, we can create it and I'm going to show you how that works. So now when we go from not started to ready for review, observe what happens. Boom, new revision, need to start revision. You get tagged. Now it's also linked. Look at this update, new revision. So you can see how powerful that is and you can also do that with the tasks that are layered under this. So revision. This one is also done. Notice how both of these tasks show up in this new revisions database. We're also tagged. Now we also see this update saying we need to make some revisions. So all in all, we've learned how to create a new project, layer a few tasks. And once we've done that and we feel like this is done, revised, the new automation feature will trigger selecting that project or task entry and tagging you in the relevant way and showing up in your update section to notify that a revision is ready to happen. So I hope that illustrates the sort of versatility of this automation feature and how we can start to think about creating these systems that automatically remind you and send messages across team members. In other words, this is one way to ensure that nothing slips through the cracks so that even if something ever does get completed or marked as ready for review, someone somewhere We'll get this update alongside the other properties that you can customize on your own. You can start to think about more powerful systems to prevent information from slipping through the cracks. Thanks for watching this whole video and hope you learned something.